old Kenneth Tardzewski in town for the Georgia Hog Rally. Died shortly after 10 this morning after the accident on Victory Drive. News Leader 9's Tyrone McCoy spoke with the witnesses who fought to save his life. Kenneth Tarzuski, his wife, and another couple were riding their motorcycles on Victory Drive close to 9 this morning when witnesses say an SUV's lane change went tragically wrong. I did see the motorcycle fall and slide a little bit on its own, and then right off the bat, I saw the driver underneath the car. And Quirk says he saw the driver and his motorcycle being dragged about 25 yards this way and an additional 25 yards with the driver just stuck under the SUV. Oh, they, oh my Lord, you know. He tells me he and a group of Fort Benning soldiers joined the other bikers and rushed to the scene prepared to pull Tarzuski from underneath the car. He says he wasn't prepared for what he saw once they freed the victim. His right leg, the only thing I believe it was holding the leg on somewhere below the knee was his blue jeans and his left leg was facing a little more than the opposite direction. I would say 95 plus percent of his damage appeared to be neck down his arm. Quirk says Tarzuski's breathing was labored for several minutes and then it stopped completely, forcing him and others at the scene to do CPR until first responders arrived minutes later. Unfortunately, Tarzuski was later pronounced dead and his name painted on the sidewalk where his body rested. If, if the rider was anything like the friends and family he had, you know, the, the world's going to be a much, much darker place without him. He now, Kenneth Tarzuski was from Dallas, Georgia, and his wife did join him in the ride in Muskogee County Corner. Buddy Bryan says his body will be sent to the GBI crime lab for all tops. You know, coming up tonight at 6, hear reaction from other hog rally participants about the tragic accident.